Hello everyone, this is Jozef Notch here and welcome back to this last video in this tutorial series in this playlist where, where I show you some tips and tricks in Linux so you can become a Linux pro yourself. Good. So, in this video I want to talk about text editors and not just because I want to show you how you can type in some text in an edi editor, I guess you know how to do that, but I want to show you a couple of tricks and what you can do with text editors in Linux because if you come from the Windows world you don't even think about stuff like that, that this is possible in text editors. So this is what I want to show you. So. The first step you will do is just go here, for example, and type in text, a text and a text editor, and then you open up the standard text editor of Ubuntu called gedit, and here you can start and include uh, your headers and uh, start programming and then type your things. And this is a really bare bone text editor um, you have here. You can open up new documents and find and replace and things like that. Okay, and print preferences, for example, you can. What I really like is here Highland current line and also display line number. And then if you enable them, then you see the line number. So this is a nice text editor. Maybe you like something else. This is completely up to you what you use for programming. But gedit is not what I wanted to show you here. I guess this is easy to find. I wanted to show you a couple of text editors which you can use in the terminal itself. Okay, for that I prepared a document numbers.csv. This is a document with 1000 numbers in 1000 uh, lines and we will check it out in a couple of seconds. So I prepared this, you can prepare this or just uh, uh, create, uh, take uh, another text file that you don't care about. And now I want to open up this text file in the terminal. So I don't open up an additional software, an additional program application. I want to open it up in the terminal. So I click on the terminal or I could press Ctrl Alt T. And now I navigate into documents and editors. And the first and the rather simple editor which works in the and the terminal is called Nano and I really like it and I know a lot of people who like Nano. It is not as powerful as the, the second text editor that I'm going to show you, but especially for newcomers it is very self-explanatory. So if you type in Nano and then the name of the text file and press enter, now you see that the text file is being opened up in the text in the terminal. And now forget your mouse, you cannot click uh, into the lines, you have to move around with your cursor keys. And you can go up and down and to the right and to the left. And you can, for example, delete number four and then type in four. And you can modify the text files like you would do it in any other text editor. Now, why do I want to show you this? Because if you are working on a cluster or a workstation with a, a server edition where you don't have a GUI, then and you want to modify, uh, make sh uh, small modifications. Of course, you will never program in a text editor in the terminal. But if you want to do small changes and you don't want to copy back from an external server to your um, um, to your machine every time just for small changes, this is a perfect editor to make those small changes in your text files. And then maybe if I make this full screen, there here in the bottom there is a cheat sheet for Nano, and the most important. Um, Combinations, key combinations is or you see here is write out. This is 
here it says O and what they mean that you have to press Control O and then you can press enter and then it saves and as you see here we could also rename the file and then uh, um, save it as a sec uh, separate file this is also possible with this and here now you in the bottom you type in the new name I'm not going to do that I'm just, just going to save again and you can exit here you see X so exit by pressing Control and X and now we are back to the terminal okay and if I open it up again as you see we saved this change where we modified the number 4 into the word 4 so check it out uh, also um, other features but I would advise you to use Nano for really small changes uh, where uh, you don't want to copy back or just open up a, a text editor because it's a really fast text editor. Okay, so that was Nano and an even faster and cooler but uh, more complicated text editor is VI and I really like to use the uh, version VIM if you uh, type in VIM and you don't see something like that, then you might have to install it with sudo apt install and then vim or minus nox. So either this version or this version and you press enter and then this will install this text editor. But I have already pre-installed it. And what, this is something that you have to wrap your head around. It's not something, uh, let me just open up this numbers.csv. As you see, this is also a text editor which opens your file in the terminal. But now if I try to type in something, uh, uh, then nothing really, uh, it re something happened. <laughs> okay, wait, let me just open it up again. So if I, not, for example, if I type in J, nothing really happens. And the way this works, you have special key combinations which bring out sp certain features of this text editor. So what accidentally happened here, if I press A, so A like Apple, then we, as you see here in the bottom, we entered the insert mode of VIM and now we can uh, go up for example here and then delete the number 7 and type in 7 or whatever. So you can now in this mode, in the insert mode, you can start typing and modifying your text and you exit the insert mode by pressing escape. Okay, so and if you don't want to change, uh, to save your uh, data, then you have to also type in a certain key combination so, or a certain command to exit without saving. And this you can do by pressing colon Q this would exit but since we changed something we have to explicitly say with the exclamation mark here in the bottom with colon Q exclamation mark to exit without saving and as you see we didn't save um, if I want to save for example so again I uh, press A I entered insert mode and maybe I change here 8 and press escape to exit the insert mode and now I want to save this. I can save this by pressing colon W for write and Q for quit. So colon W and Q and this quits. And now if I go back again as you see now we saved. And if I don't, if I didn't change I just checked it out uh, then I just can quit with colon Q. Okay, I know this is something you have to wrap your head around and for, especially for newcomers, this might be a bit 
difficult and you must might ask yourself why the hell should I do this nano is more uh, self-explanatory and more uh, simple and or just I just use gedit or any other text editor and I don't need that but what I want to show you is one extremely cool feature which increased my productivity by I don't know by factors and this is the possibility to record um, command sequences or key sequences. For example, what do I mean? For example, uh, there is uh, the before in Nano uh, um, we deleted uh, certain uh, li uh, lines and certain entries. You can in Vim you can delete entire lines by pressing the D key two times. So DD deletes an entire line. So for example, I want to delete the line 11. Uh, then I press DD and then it is being deleted. So and now imagine that you have some kind of data. Maybe you are an engineer and you made a lot of measurements where you have measurements in the order of magnitude of 1 million, 1 million rows, and you don't need 1 million rows. You over, did an overkill and you want to, for example, delete every third line in a text file with 1 million entries. So in this case here, we only have 1000 entries, but this is completely uh, exactly the same for 1 million entries and what you do in VI and this is why I'm showing you you can record sequences so now the, the the idea is to record a sequence where I tell VI to automatically press DD so this is what I'm going to do now so do DD and then press cursor down and again cursor down and then that's the sequence I want it to execute a thousand times, 100,000 times, as many times as you want. Now, how do you record a combination of, of these uh, commands, of uh, the command DD to uh, delete a line and then move with the cursor one, uh, one line, down and then again one line and then we end up deleting every third line so so how can you do that for that you have to press q two times okay so i press now q q and as you see here in the bottom left corner it says recording at q and now I just type in the sequence which I want to record. So, for example, I want to delete every third line. Then I press DD. And then I press on the cursor keys down. And then again down. And now I want to exit the recording modus of uh, uh, VI by pressing Q only one time. And as you see now, the recording mode disappeared, and now I want I navigate. For example, I want to start at line twenty, and then I want to do this three hundred times. So we I should do this combination: dd down down dd down down dd down down three hundred times. And this you can do by typing in the number of iterations and you will not see this number anywhere on the screen. So I type in now 300 and then the at sign and then at Q. And as you see now something happened here on the left with the numbers. And if I go up, I started for example here at 20. And as you see, 20 is missing, and then 23 is missing, 26 is missing, 29 is missing, and so on. So really, VI, within a second, deleted 300 lines out of my text file. And this is so handy to delete data, or you have a lot of data, and you don't need all that data. If I remember back during my internship, where I made... 
I don't know, hundreds of experiments with hundreds of thousands of lines. And I did uh, this in Excel. Um, I, I, I don't know what I would do if I knew that this exists. Because you cannot just uh, think about you want to uh, delete half. You have one million um, measurements and you want to go to uh, delete the lines uh, at a certain um, place because those are bad measurement data because you made a mistake during the measurements and then you just go to that line and then you type record the, the command sequence so for example you want to delete every line and then you type in QQ and then only the one command DD which then deletes one line then you exit that mode and then you type in how often you want to do that and then a VI will automatically delete that part of the measurement. And, that, and that's it. And I, I remember doing that, I don't know, 50 or 100 times in Excel. Uh, selecting lines and then delete rows and then also doing copying and pasting around and I, 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 if I knew back then that this is possible I, I wouldn't have wasted days of my life where I, I could have done it in a couple of minutes okay so this is what I wanted to show you so I know we I is complex especially at the beginning but it has this very cool feature where you can record command sequences and automatically execute them. And then with that, you can delete a lot of certain parts of your text file. Okay, I hope that you can utilize this at a certain point of in your life. And maybe if you try and de uh, start uh, deleting hundreds and thousands of lines and every third line in excel then think about this video that there is an alternative and you don't have to click 1000 times around you don't have to press delete uh, or backslash 1000 times you just have to op uh, save your excel file as a text file and then open it up in VI and then execute, record the command once and then execute it 1000 times. And it will just save you so much time. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope that you liked this video and that you liked the entire series and that you learned at least a little bit in some of the videos. Hopefully you learned a lot. If you like the videos, then please like them, share them. Um, and tell your friends about them. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening. And I hope to see you next time.